Hey, yo, the Chinese bros got us again. Wait a sec, they still have Kana and Unique equipments. Ah, oh, sh- Hi, welcome back to another Princess Connect video. My name is Lace, and today we're going to be talking about Lunar Tower. Kind of like a guide, or like an overview, and then a whole bunch of comps and guides for the upcoming Lunar Tower in probably about 11 hours. I know I'm cutting it really, really close, guys. But we'll be right, because this video is going to come out before then. Am I right, guys? Yeah. Anyway, you guys already know the drill. Let's just jump right into it. And so what we have right here is the Lunar Tower itself. So this is essentially the UI. And all it really is, is you're kind of like doing dungeon 70 times, right? For us on release, there are going to be 70 floors, I believe. Uh, yep, max floor 70. And so what it means is that the initial climb is going to be pretty, uh, it's pretty heavy, right? Because we're going from floor one all the way to floor 70. However, there is a first point that I want to mention in regards to this. And it's that once you've cleared a floor, you don't have to clear it ever again. And what I mean by that is that, for example, if we clear up to like floor 70 or even like floor 60 this time, next month when Lunar Tower rolls around, you will start at floor 60 and hopefully you'll have progressed more so you can push up to floor 70. And so that's like really awesome because to a lot of people, this kind of becomes like free gemmies, right? Like a free gem income for the next uh, until we die. And so speaking of gemmies, let me just quickly show you guys the clearing reward for each of the floors. So I will of course link this down in the description below. But as you can see, we're going to be getting 20 gems for like each of these guys and then 100 gems for the bosses. And so this is going to go all the way up to 70 and it should equate to about like 1.5k if I remember correctly. If it's a little bit less or a little bit more, I'm sorry, but also you're welcome. But anyway, let's get back to it over here. And so yeah, there really isn't too much else to say about Lunar Tower. It really is like one, two, three, four, 70 floors, and you are going to have three waves in each of these floors. And so yeah, that, that really is it. it. It really is like a dungeon. And then so as usual, you send in your teams, you go in and finish them. And then uh, yeah, you, you, you get a reward, right? So <laughs> look at that. However, upon clearing it, you will actually have the carryover of the status like the HP and the TP of your team. So as you can see there, uh, let me just scroll back real quick. This was the state that your team was left in as they finished the last floor. And so as you can imagine, there are a couple of key units that really thrive here. The first of which is Ilya. Ilya, you can bring in and she is just going to raise through like a whole bunch of the first few floors. I'm thinking like first 10 or first 20 or something. And then I think she ends up dying at about like floor 20. And if you guys do not have Ilya, don't worry about it because I do have some great news. And it's that you can borrow a character from the support. So like me, I actually don't have Ilya. I might. I maybe will borrow the Ilya to like breathe through floor 1 to 20. But realistically speaking, 1 to 20 is going to be super easy. You guys already saw like the levels of these mobs, right? It's freaking level 51. And another cool thing about this is that we are getting Lunar Tower at level cap 100 and was it 109, 110? But they got it at 105. And so technically speaking, we should be stronger. I don't think they even got R11 at this point either. And so hopefully even if you don't have like a whole bunch of the characters that I'm about to show you, like their different comps and stuff, there is a pretty decent chance that if you are at max level cap, you can bulldoze with a whole bunch of like different characters but whoops i kind of got a little bit sidetracked so let's get back to like a couple of the key characters and it's not really like key characters it's kind of like key archetypes there are a lot of characters that are very useful for this game or you can look up tier lists or whatever or you really could just like follow all of these different guides but essentially you really want the sustain right so you're looking at the healers the healers are finally getting their turn into the spotlight but of course this is gonna be essentially your makoto jun playground again and that is why everybody needs makoto and jun and if you don't have Makoto, remember the good news. You can borrow Makoto in the support units and that is probably what I would suggest considering you probably already have Jun from like the events and the hard mode farming. And so that is why I said in my last video, like we should be fine guys. Like you guys really should be fine. However, that's kind of it in a nutshell. However, there is something else I do want to show you guys. And if you guys just have a quick look at this one over here. So this Billy Billy playlist has like one to 20 floor, uh, 11 to 20 floor. Sorry, I'm reading it in Chinese. But what you are going to see is that there is an EX floor for floor 70. And so the EX floor typically exists for the floors that were either like the highest cap at the time or is the current highest cap. And so what I mean by that is that when floors get added over time, they are going to be getting higher and higher, right? So for example, maybe next patch we get floor 80. Generally speaking, for every floor that has existed as the highest floor at some point in time, so for example, this one, we are going to get like 70 EX. They're going to have an EX stage associated with it. So we're eventually we're going to have like a 70 EX, an 80 EX if the cap goes to 80, a 90 EX, etc. However, I don't think it actually goes up like that. So let's have a look. 70 EX and then so... And then there doesn't seem to be another one until I believe 110. So if we... Yep, EX at 110. And then from here, it goes to 130. And yes, yeah, so if I remember correctly, or I mean, it's showing me here right now. Each time we get floors added, it actually comes in like batches of 20 to 30, about, about that much anyway. And so what this means is that over time, the 
income from Luna Tower is going to be greater and greater because remember guys, we are going to be getting the rewards from the start all the way to where we can clear. And so that's why Luna Tower is so freaking important. But on top of that, speaking of importance, what you're going to see over here is we are getting princess hearts. And so for you guys who are not familiar with princess hearts, like these are the materials that are probably going to gate us from going to get the unique equipments. If you guys still have not seen my unique equipment video, go check it out. But essentially for unique equipment, you need princess hearts, which are these guys over here and memory pieces. And then combining the two together, you make the unique equipment. And then if you want to upgrade that unique equipment, you need more princess hearts and Tomo, I mean, sorry, not Tomo, memory pieces. Anyway, I think that's it in a nutshell. Uh, oh, okay. Actually, there are quite a few different mechanics, I suppose, that are associated with Luna Tower. And the most important one is this recovery over here. Recovery is once a day and can be used at any point of the day to recover your entire character roster. So this does mean that you have like kind of multiple tries for it. I believe Luna Tower lasts for about five days per month. And so technically speaking, you do have five recoveries. And so you could use the same team over and over if that's really what you have to resort to. But hopefully you won't and some of these guides will help you. But let me just quickly scroll through this. A character can only be used until they are knocked out. They can be recovered once a day. Yeah, that's right. And so that's why you really want to like use the healers to sustain them, right? The Yukaris, the Mahos, sometimes even the Yui's if you're really desperate, sometimes Misato. And so moving on, one support character provided by fellow clan members, we already know this. So you can use that character until they are knocked out. Now, this one is one that I didn't talk about. So if the timer runs out, the entire team will be wiped out and unusable until they are required. And so you really need to watch out. And this is why like you're going to be seeing a couple of CB looking teams, if you know what I mean. Because generally speaking, CB looking teams are really the ones that are going to be clearing the fastest. And so they run like the least amount of risk to actually getting timed out. But yeah, I think that's enough for these guys. I'm I'm kind of over these mechanics. Like it really, it really is a dungeon with like 370 floors or something now in Japan. And so let me introduce you first to the global one. So this is written by your boy Chocolate. Essentially Chocolate is like talking about a lot of the different things that I just talked about for you guys. And it is a really great read. So I highly suggest you guys do check this guy out. But moving down, the most important part is these guys over here. Because this is kind of for like the end game players who do have a lot of units. And so for a lot of people, this guide is going to be like your pathway to the fastest clear time. Especially for the first time climb up to floor 70, it is is going to be a little bit like daunting but like he says up at the start like you really should have fun with it just like we don't really get overly much content in pre-con let's be honest but yeah that's really it in a nutshell and so Okay, this is a good one. I completely forgot to mention this one. But essentially, because the lower floors are so weak, you can kind of like bring anybody, right? And so to make the most out of it, you want to be TP charging some of the key characters that we'll be using on the higher floors. And that's kind of exactly what this guide goes through, right? So on the left-hand side, you've got like the, the speed run comp. Again, floors 1 to 20, you could use this, but you could also like spend some time charging up the TPs for these characters. And then as you go down, there are going to be more and more different teams. So like 21 to 49, you're going to be using something like this. You can see there is a lot of shred but there is a lot of sustain as well you got the shred 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 and then you got sustain 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 summer cockery heal on yubi we've got the aoe heal to the front line on nozomi which is going to be healing these four if not all five units and then june with the single target heal like i think the idea like as we look through these teams you're going to see it's a very very similar idea right shred and heal shred and heal until you can get to the end but essentially i think this guide is pretty self-explanatory however as we climb to the higher floors like 51 to 59 and then we've got floor 60 over here some of the stages are a little bit harder. So for example, this one over here, floor 60 deserves it's kind of like its own guide. And so it's pretty funny. Like, look at this one over here. Assuming you didn't waste your mages on floor 50, here is a place to sack them for an easy clear. And I think the reason that you sack them here is because they're going to get you all the way up to the end. And then you're going to come in and clean up with your main team. But yeah, otherwise, I think this is pretty straightforward. So just follow the instructions and like go have at it, my guys. However, I don't think I did talk about like the specific mechanics of the EX floors themselves. So as you can see, there are three teams team one two three so this is kind of more like a princess arena kind of mode and i believe you're able to go into the ex stage like as much as you want so uh, if there is any end game content i guess this is kind of it but yeah again i think the princess arena analogy probably works best here it really is just like you're building three teams to beat another three teams and that, that's kind of it but yeah that is chocolate's luna tower guide in a nutshell there is th this is this does not deserve a video guide made by me it's an extremely straightforward guide and i just 
just wanted to bring some awareness to it so that you guys can have this for when Lunar Tower drops in, again, 11 hours time. Anyway, let's move on to some CN resources. I think they actually, they might not be using Kana yet, maybe. But essentially what I found is a whole bunch of videos like, or even playlists that go through from floor one all the way through to floor 70 and the EX floor. And so I think the ideas are gonna be very, very similar to what Chocolate has shown us. It's just, I'm just giving you guys more options. And it's really nice because some of them do give you like a floor by floor guide. Like I do think that there are some challenging ones like 60 over here. But as you can see over here, like from floor 49, I guess this guy found a need to actually separate the videos out and make individual guides. But yeah, there really is not much to talk about for like any of these playlists. Essentially, they are chocolates guide, but like in video format. I'm not going to play through them. I'm just going to drop them in the description below. But again, a big shout out to the CM bros for having our backs once again, maybe for the last time. And so with all of that being said, I hope you guys are hyped for Lunar Tower, but I don't think there is much left to be said. And so let's wrap this video up. And so guys, I do have a secret message for you and that is 70 EX because that is going to be the end game content if we can really call it that for us that we will be receiving from this new game mode. And so if you guys could drop the secret message 70 EX down into the comments below, I would really appreciate it because it means that you've watched up until the end of the video. And so thank you guys so much. But otherwise, please consider a like, a sub, a comment, a follow. You guys already know what it is. Join the Discord, use the affiliate links, become a member, la da 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 da. But as an inanimate tower once said to me, all good things must come to an end. And so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.